<coughs> Greetings all and welcome to Trevi's hydroponic garden. This is what I do at home when I want to relax. <laughs> I'm growing bok choy, uh, sorrel, continental parsley, dill, some basil, green and red, and of course green and red oak lettuce. As you can see there, they're all different sizes because we multi-crop over a period of time and just replace each seedling as we go. Obviously there's 150 or so plants here and we couldn't consume all that ourselves. So this little garden is divided up in between, between six families. So and you can't get it any fresher than picking it yourself. These lettuces here will take about seven weeks to mature. The bok choy I get out in about eight, nine weeks. All these three tables are powered by one pump and they run on one nutrient level of about 12 CF. We try and keep the pH about 6.3. And as you can see, we haven't covered them up though. All the piping goes underground, or will be very soon. Both the feed and the drain line. And that goes back to a central tank which you can see here. It also has a venturi, which is that bubbling sound which oxygenates the solution. And we monitor the levels by using what they call a combo meter. Which displays the nutrient level, which at the moment is six because the plants have been feeding today. I normally keep that about 12. pH is a bit high because the plants are adjusting that themselves. It's about 7.1. We need to drop that back to about 6.3. And we've got a nutrient temperature about 26. A little bit warm because we've had a high temperatures of 29 today and this is a full sun position. It's about six hours of direct sun. But we really need to put some shake off in just to take the edge off. We have several mature lettuce. This will all be ready by for Christmas. And the dill will be coming out today. That's going to our neighbours, our Greek neighbours next door. And we'll be getting some nice potato salad in return. A continental parsley over the far side here will probably come out next week. And that will be going into several tabbouleh salads. The bok choy, that'll be going to our friends who like uh, Asian stir fries. I've tried it myself, it's not too bad, it's cooked properly. And here we have sorrel, which is a nice green leaf with red veins, it looks fantastic in salads has a real tang to it. And again, our continental parsley. So all these varieties can be grown together because they all like the same nutrient level and pH level. You can see the seedlings in the background there that have got a bit smashed today because of the sun, but they will pop back up because I've just given them some food. They'll be replacing what we take out of this bench here. This whole area is 25 square metres. 
and we'll be putting another bench here in here over the Christmas break which will take our total plant capacity up to about 220. You can remotely run these tables, you don't necessarily have to have a, a main tank like we have, you can have one tank per bench if you want to grow different varieties, but uh, being summer we're growing all the salad greens. In winter we'll be putting broccoli in. So stay tuned because we'll be posting this garden up over the next coming months. And we'll give you consistent progress reports. Until then, Arrow of a Dirty.